Hey guys, Xperian here, and today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak 2.1 software with the new Pony tool. And it's actually very simple. Right now I'm just going to show you. I have a freshly restored iPhone 3G. Nothing on it, just contacts. And to prove that it's 2.1 firmware, I'm going to go into settings. Then I'm going to go into general and about. And as you can see, 2.1 version 2.1 so yeah let's get into it I'm gonna go to the computer now hey guys so um now what I'm gonna do is open up the new Ponish tool and I'll give you a link in the description from the iPhone dev team and it's actually really simple so what we're gonna do is open Ponish tool right here let it load now this is just the copyright, you're going to click OK. Then up the top you'll see simple mode, expert mode and log. You don't need to worry about log and simple mode is too easy. What you're going to do is click on expert mode. It's got like a picture of Albert Einstein on it. Then you're going to select which one you have. iPhone is the iPhone 2, 2G, iPod Touch or the iPhone 3G. And I have the iPhone 3G so I'm going to click that and then a big tick will come next to it and we're going to click the arrow to go next. And right now, it's going to browse for your ISPW, IPSW, okay? And it'll find it automatically if you've already downloaded it. And if it can't find it, you're going to click Browse for IPSW. Um, if you don't have it on your computer, oh, you've got to download it. And you can do that off iTunes really easily. So once it's found it, it'll look like this. You just click it, it'll come with a tick next to it, and you click the arrow next. And now, here you'll come to a screen with all these options on it. You're going to click General, then you can click the blue arrow, and what we're, to, what we're going to do is uncheck Activate the phone, and I'm assuming you guys won't worry about this, so um, just leave the root partition size as it is at 500 meg, and leave that checked. Disable partition wipeout, and you must uncheck Activate the iPhone. Now we're going to click Next, and the boot. There's no unlock for the iPhone 3G, so I can't do boot neuter. So we're just going to click next again, and then if you want to download anything, you just go into downloaded packages and click refresh, and it'll come up with a whole list of packages, and you just double click on it, and it'll download. I've already downloaded the ones that I want, so I'm going to click five icon dock and open SSH, and those will automatically be installed when you install your custom IPSW. So next, we're going to click the blue arrow, go next again, and it'll have city installer and installer and it's the beta installer and those are both checked automatically just leave them checked and yeah just um, you can't have installer without Cydia so just de make sure you get Cydia and we're going to click next and you can browse for your custom images or if you like the original ones like I do we're just going to uncheck both of them and then click next and once you've all done that we're just going to click build and you tick come next to it and then we're going to click next and just save it to your desktop and it will say building IPSW halfway through it's going to come up with like a, a thing over that's asking for your password on the computer don't worry about it there's nothing wrong just type it in it just needs it to put it on the desktop so once you, I'm going to come back when this is finished okay and see you later hey guys I'm back and it's finished building the custom IPSW and this is what it looks like here and it's just like a I've got an iTunes symbol and an iPod and a little square and it says custom restored IPSW and this is what you're going to use to restore your iPhone so it's jailbroken so yeah we've done that once you've got this it says I has and has your iPhone 3G been pwned before if you have the slightest doubt at all you're going to click no it and um, if you had, if it has you can click yes but um, it doesn't matter to repone it if you have to so I'm just gonna click no and it's now we're gonna turn off our device so we're gonna um, I'm gonna skip to the camera right now so one second so guys here we are and as it says turn off device and this is how we start to get into DFU mode. 
it's all very simple and just follow the instructions as it says. So what we're going to do is turn off the iPhone. Let's give it a second. And all this is automatic and it knows when you turn it off and everything. So you don't have to worry. Okay, prepare to press power and home button in 5 seconds. So we're going to hold them down for 10 seconds and it's got the number on the side as you can see. Now you're going to release the power button. Hold this home button for 10 seconds. And there we have it. Successfully entered DFU mode. Close Ponage Tool applications. Start iTunes and restore with your custom firmware bundle. So there we go. iTunes will open up automatically, and we're just going to quit out of Ponage Tool. And um, if you fail to get into DFU mode, just um, restart. You turn your iPhone um, on and then off again and unplug it and just try it again. So here we are, the main screen. iTunes has detected an iPhone in recovery mode. You must restore the iPhone before it can be used with iTunes. Um, it's not actually in recovery mode, it's in DFU mode. So what you're going to do is click OK. Then right here as I'll show you we're going to click this little tab here with the apple on it and click so let's let's do it right now shift restore oh what sorry option restore and it will come up with this little screen here what you're going to do is find where you had your custom IPSW built and mine was on the desktop so we're going to click that and then we're going to click choose and it will say extracting software and there we go So I'll be back when this is done. So okay guys, and here we have it. A uh, brand new, fully restored, jailbroken iPhone 2.1 software. And I'll show you, slide to unlock. And here we have Cydia and installer, brand new. And there's nothing else on the phone except for contacts over in the corner. So, just to prove it to you, I'm going to go into settings, general, no, general, about, and look at that, 2.1, version 2.1, fully restored. So, that's how you do it, and if I helped you, rate comment and subscribe and I'll see you later